Tamlin. I'm Rachel. And together we are the Northern, Northern Soul, Soul Sisters. Sisters. So we are back today with another video for you and an introduction to a new project. We're going to be doing a joint project together and we'd love you to get involved too. So this project is going to be sew dresses with the Northern Soul Sisters. So we're all going to be sewing a dress for a special event that we're going to in April, which is called The Gathering in Yorkshire. And we're sewing our dresses for that occasion. So we've got our fabric choices to share with you and the fabrics have been provided free of charge by Minerva for this project. So we were able to go on and choose any of their exclusive range of viscoses and we'll share those with you soon. You can see them all just yep. here exciting, on our laps. It? In fact, it's really exciting. hard to try and choose yeah. the fabric. I really oh, love, their, love their viscose uh, range. They've got yeah. like a lot of amazing designs. So it was lots of fun to go on and choose. And we shared ideas with each other and we actually picked some of the same fabrics. We did, in our, we? Yeah. We, did. <laughs> we sort of sent, ac sent across a few choices to each other and we all picked some of the same fabrics but we've ended up going for different choices um, it was really difficult because there were so many that yeah. I absolutely adore yeah. and trying to think of you know the time of year that this this event's going to be mm -hmm. on and which fabrics are going to work with going into spring so it's been yeah it's been yeah fun. and also I think because they've got such an extensive exclusive range now when mm -hmm. Minerva first brought their um, exclusives out there was only a limited amount whereas now there's all, there's all knit fabrics now and then they've yeah. just launched is it viscose linen as yeah. well yeah but the viscose chalet i think is the the widest range yeah, mm, yeah. and i must admit there was about seven or eight that i could have chosen yeah. but anyway you won't be surprised by the one yeah. I've <laughs> anyway. yeah so this event that we're going to in april is called the gathering it's being hosted by donna from size me sewing sam from frugalissima and ali who is thimbers who was in the Great British sewing bee a couple of years ago. And it's basically a very informal get together, isn't it, for mm. sewers, sewists, whatever you want to call yourself, to go along, meet each other, have some fun, some food. And it's, yeah, when we say it's informal, they've, they've said, you know, you can wear something handmade if you want, but you don't have to go all to town. But, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just really sort of easygoing. And, yeah. But we were like, this is an opportunity. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> to make yeah. We are Pretty. going to make an entrance yeah <laughs> absolutely we are yeah here come the girls yeah. so we decided that we would make dresses for this and we thought it would be a really good idea to use this as our next community so for you guys because we know how much fun lots of you had with the jackets and we thought you know going into spring spring yeah. dresses we're all excited to start making nice um, spring dresses yes. again looking forward to the warmer weather so yeah get involved with us if you've got a dress that you're itching to make yeah. Yeah. and also we're going to on our community page we're going to put a little poll up individually so we're going to show you three patterns mm -hmm. and we want you to guess which one each of us is going to make i think we have all made our decisions already but you never know people might steer us in a different direction yeah. it'd be yeah. really interesting when we come to review the dresses if people have got it right which one yeah. we're actually going to choose yeah so before we start shall we just tell everybody what we're wearing oh yes yes yeah. Want to go first okay i am wearing my to leave the buttons marnie top that i made in this cotton lawn this was the first one that i did and i love it and it turned us on to the marnie yes. <laughs> we, saw, we saw this version and we we're like wow yeah absolutely incredible my outfit is very boring in comparison so i've just got oh, a, i've got a helen's closet jackson pullover in like a black cable knit and then i'm wearing a bias cut skirt which isn't me made but i bought this with the intention of testing it out to see if i like the style and then i can get some fabric to make my own version of this type of skirt so it's just a bias cut slip skirt but i wasn't sure if i was going to like it so i just bought like i love it it's gorgeous. yeah it i love it song. but yeah. the fabric is quite cheap polyester mm -hmm. so i want to get a nice fabric like a viscose satin or something yeah. like that and then make my own versions so, love. Rachel's made a version, haven't you? Uh -huh. I've made two, so. actually. Two now? Yeah, oh. yeah, and I do love it. Yeah. Me. I'm wearing the Sew Over It Nomi dress, which was free with Sewing Magazine, mm -hmm. um, in a viscose jersey from First of Fabrics that I bought when I was with you guys up at Sew Two. So, do you like it? I do like it actually, um, but it's it's super long. Yeah, it's it really strange because I'm five foot eight. Well, I thought it was five foot nine, but my husband says otherwise. <laughs> um, and it's literally hits the floor. So if you are just a hint, if you are shorter than that, you may want to shorten it because mm -hmm. the girls were kind of saying, "Have you have you lengthened?" 
thicker than that. And I'm like, nope. So yeah, it's really, really <laughs> long. But I'm, I'm trying to get used to it. So yeah, I it's lovely like it. to see you in a different style. It's yeah, not your it's usual no, style. It's not. I mean, the animal print is your usual. I bet style. Yes, yeah. it's my favorite yeah. fabric. So. But the style of dress and everything's yeah. very different for you. And yeah. I love it. You look gorgeous. Thank you very much. Okay, so who wants to go first? And do we want to talk about the fabrics first or the pattern choices? Oh, what shall we do? I'll go first. Yes. Okay, right. I'm going to show you my fabric first. <laughs> We're talking about spring and everything, and I've picked like really dark fabric. Yeah, anyway. me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fabric. I'm going to hold it up here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, this is the most amazing animal print. I've seen loads of people make stuff out of this, and I just love it. And it's called Graphic Leopard. So it's on, it's, is it a black background? Well, I don't suppose you can really think, say because there's so many yeah, different colours it's different to it. Yeah, background. it's got like um, an aubergine type of colour, a dark purple, a mustard, turquoise, blush pink. It's it all gorgeous, different colours, but it? I just think they go really, really well together. Yeah. So yeah, I've had my eye on this one for quite some time. So I did... I, tr I nearly got swayed, but this one I was like, yeah. I already know which it's one. It's a I'm bit there. of you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a bit, a bit of me. You. So, <laughs> yes. yes. So I've got, I think I've got three and a half meters of that one, just so that I had an option to pretty much make most things. I know some things are four meters, but um, I didn't think I'd use it. So mm. I have got three options to show you. So number one, and Rachel will put photos in here because yeah. we've just got little crazy printouts, is the Nina Lee Park Lane dress. So this goes in a size 6 to 28, and I've had my eye on this for quite some time. How cute does she look? Yeah, she, she, really, she does. Yeah, totally. What I like about this one is I think you could dress it up or dress it down, because obviously in this one, Anina is wearing it with little white pumps, and it looks really, really cute. Yeah, Thank you. Oh, wasn't it? Yeah. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this. It's quite a straight dress, but then I think it's got... Um, Little ruffles mm. just on here, they're short cute. sleeves. Well, I think they're three quarters, but she's got them rolled up. And I just absolutely love the casual style of yeah. this. I think yeah. it's it's lush. I don't think there's too much to it. I think it's got a seam across here, uh -huh. across the bust line, which is good for me. Because when you've got a bit of a tum, you know, a mom tum, I think that might be that might work for my body type. So, and you can make that into a blouse as well. So yes. I thought yes. that might work quite well for my fabric because it is quite a big, bold print. Yeah. Mm. And I didn't want something that I was going to have, it was going to have lots of pattern pieces. Yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't want to break it up yeah. that much. Yeah. 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 I just thought it might look a bit strange if I start doing that because it's got so many colours and it's almost like patchwork. I was yeah. like, mm, yeah. I want to try and keep it as simple as possible. So yeah, I do really like that dress. I think it's lush. It's got like a high round neck as well, which I like, that yeah. neckline. So yeah, that is choice number one. Lovely. Nice. I like that one. Yes. They never print out very well, their fiber mood pattern um, pictures. But anyway, this is choice number two, and this is the Holly dress um, by Fiber Mood. Now, it's really funny because I've never really seen anybody talking about this pattern, and then I saw that Sarah from So Sarah Style had mentioned it on one of her ah. vlogs recently. So I'll be messaging you after this, Sarah, if you are <laughs> watching this, um, to get some hints and tips if you like this one as well. So I don't know if she's actually made it up just yet. But this is, I mean, this is literally covering every part of my body, to be fair. <laughs> <this pattern. laughs> it's got a really high neck. It's got big um, poofy sleeves. It's pretty much to the floor. Well, I think it's a mid axi And then you can make a self fabric tie to go around your waist yeah. so I'm not gonna if, if I do make this I'm not gonna make the belt as such I think I'd just see what it looks like but mm -hmm. the line drawings on it um it does look a little bit like a sack <laughs> <laughs> but obviously with a belt or yeah, with a self fabric yeah. tie you could um obviously do something with that and that goes from sizes 32 to 58 because they do theirs a little bit differently don't they um, but it is um, up to basically a 55 inch um, bust and hip. But obviously they don't have waist measurements because it, it mm. does yeah. actually yeah. go yeah. like that. So that is numero two for me. And then number three is the French poetry Pleades. Ladies. Pleades. Pleades. It's something like that. Yeah. Yeah. A long one. <laughs> number two. Now there is there's a number one and yeah. a number two mm -hmm. and there's only Subtle differences is, to yeah. the two of them, I've actually. Made, I've made one. I've yes. made one, but I haven't made this I one. think it was you that talked to me about this pattern ages ago yeah. and got me onto it. I was asking mm. a question about something, you were mm. like, you would really like this yeah, pattern, yeah, and this I went and had a look at it. Yeah, so that's kind of the line drawings, but again, Rachel will put some details yeah. in. 
but I love the look of this lovely. one. But what I was thinking about, if I do choose this one, is obviously this is a short dress. I was thinking about lengthening it so it is uh -huh. yeah. almost a maxi dress. Yes. Yes. I, I think, think that's what Andy did. Away. Oh, did Andy. she? I haven't watched hers yet. Yeah, yeah. Andy from So that. Andy Sews has made it. And I'm sure hers was longer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go make sure I do watch yeah. that then. So I do like this one. It's got a different neckline altogether. It's buttoned up all the way down. I think that might be the difference Ooh. between one and two. Yes. The other one's only it's to just a, um, it's just a waist, bust, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it's cut kind of under the bust, isn't it, on yeah. a diagonal, which yeah. I thought was really nice. Yeah, and it's got like a little, well, they call it a granddad collar, don't they? What a Mandarin, Mandarin collar. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. probably a nicer way of saying it, isn't it? And then there's three different sleeves as well. So there's a short sleeve, a three-quarter sleeve. I think it's like um, like a bit of a poofy sleeve and then a long sleeve as well. And you can do it with either a collar a mandarin collar or like um like a pussy bow blouse oh, right, yeah, type nice. of bow thing yeah Ooh. so you can make it as well without the buttons all the way down this okay. one so but i like the idea of the buttons yeah. all the way down yeah, yeah. Sure. so that's what i like about yeah. this one i think really yeah. Because, versatile, yeah. yeah and i think i'd get a lot of wear out of this yeah. one as well yeah. so <gasps> lush nice i'm already Ooh, I, don't I don't know, know which one I don't i'm gonna know do which now. One you're gonna choose <laughs> I mean, they all look amazing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's yeah. my, they're my choices anyway, which is quite hard picking three. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'll go next. Yes. Okay, so my fabric is this one, mm. and it was so hard to choose, but I just love the colours in this. I think I it's gorgeous. It. it is so beautiful. Yeah, so obviously it's on like a tealy, tealy coloured petrol sort yeah, of base. Like dark, I think, yeah. 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 yeah, and it's got these beautiful sort of flashes of pinks and um aqua and yeah. like a sort of violety like blue brush yeah strokes and then yeah and lovely. this one is called dynamic brush strokes oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 gorgeous yeah. absolutely gorgeous and i think the reason i was drawn to this one was because on the minerva site for, for lots of the fabrics they have people that have already made them up yeah. yeah. it's so nice seeing them actually yeah. made up in a garment because some of them look very different to what yes. they think would and I loved how this looked made up. So, yes, I got this one, I think. Do you know what it reminds me of as well? Mm. You know, the fabric that you made your lima dress out of. It's got similar yeah, colourways and yeah. that really suits you, that yeah. lima dress. So I think this is like a knockout fabric. It's for you. gorgeous. Yeah. So I think I got four metres of this because that gave me lots of options mm -hmm. to go with. And my fabric, you know, my pattern choices, mm -hmm. I got three patterns. And it was really hard to sort of pick. To be honest, but I have an inkling of which one I'm going to go with. But I'll talk to more. <laughs> um, the first one is this one, which is a Maison Fauve pattern. Mm -hmm. They're a French pattern company, and I have made a couple of their patterns before. This is the Mia dress. I will put a better picture in of it. This comes in. You've got two versions. You can either make a blouse or a dress, and it looks very plain from the front. Um, it's sort of like a skimming style, and it's got sort of like balloon sleeves, and then it's got this gorgeous. It's got the drama at the, the back. The drama at the yeah. back. So <laughs> it's got like a, a sort of cutout at the back that is um, ties around your neck and it sinks quite low, but obviously I hope it doesn't show the bra strap thing. But anyway, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> and then the neckline, you've got two versions. You've got just like a simple sort of mandarin neckline or you've got, I think it's more like a cowl. Yeah, I don't think it's like a cowl it, yeah. type thing as well. So it's, anyway, it's very simple, but I think it would... With that you know, fabric. Though. With this fabric, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, the, the fabric is the star of the show, yeah, isn't yeah. it, with it? So this comes in, again, this is European sizes. So it comes in sizes 34 to 52. So it's quite a good size range. Mm. And you do get English instructions in these patterns as well. So, and as I say, I have made made Mares on Fold before and they're, they're, they're really quite oh, straightforward. Is so yeah, it's it's gorgeous, really nice. isn't it? Yeah. Like the drawing, the yeah. artwork. Yeah. So, yeah, I do really like this and yeah. um, I thought that would be really nice as my first choice. Mm -hmm. My second one is this one. And I'm going to put a better picture in because this printout's rubbish, but <laughs> this is the By Hand London Tamsin dress and this comes in two size ranges so it's pdf only but you've got a b cup which comes in sizes 6 to 24 and then a d cup which is 16 to 34 so it's quite an mm. extensive size range and this was originally designed as like a folk wear type pattern mm. it's got a square neckline and princess seams on the bodice and then it's got a gathered skirt with the sort of 
like pleat details. Yeah, they're like really details. large yeah. pleats, aren't they? Yeah. 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 And it's got an, a, an exterior facing around the neck, so mm -hmm. you can play about with that if you want. If you're using a different fabric to me, you could, you know, put sort of like embroidery and ribbons uh, and stuff around yeah. it. So, but I would just use this fabric. I wouldn't, I think it's got enough mm -hmm. going on, to be honest, yeah. without adding anything else. Yeah. But it, this has been on my tomato list for a long time, mm. and I think that's really pretty. Oh, have so, you not made that one no, yet? No, I've oh, not I made it. I've had it that one no, now. I've had it for ages, but yeah, I think I it's really nice. Yeah. So that's my second choice. And then the last one is this one, which is Love the this. named Kirtoon. Kirtoon. Oh, isn't it hard yeah. sometimes with some of these pattern <laughs> names? I know, I know. But yeah, the named Kirtoon, and I adore this dress. Mm. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's really great for summer you know you could style it down really casually as a nice summer dress or you yeah. could obviously up the drama for a, a nice sort of going out date night dress and it's got a sort of scoop back that's gathered with like spaghetti straps at the back it's really and cute at the back of that actually yeah, isn't it and yeah. then, it's got quite a lot of detail at the front so that's quite unusual yeah. it's normally plain on one isn't it but I absolutely have the back of that as well. and it's got like a little tie at the front with a tiny little cut out so you've got a little bit of sexiness going on but not, but not too much <laughs> and then obviously the tiered skirt as well and you can either make this in a dress or a skirt this comes in i can't remember what size range to be honest but i will <laughs> leave a link to it down in the comments below but yeah love that one as well so they're my Amazing. three choices Ooh, which one do you be think she's gonna make yeah it's gonna be a hard decision to make yeah, that one yeah definitely i think i know which one you're gonna go for. yeah yeah Mm, watch this space, watch this space. <laughs> right so my fabric choice is oh. this one i had a big struggle with choosing fabric mm. because i thought about going for something really bold and i had a few choices but i could not get this one out of my head and i thought it was a little bit different for me and it's it a little bit so you, it's almost it so but I, find, I feel like it's almost plain because it's all pretty much one color other than the shadowy effect. So it's this one. We'll show you and then you can see for yourselves. It's called Rose Reverie. And this is it's it. It's beautiful. That's so it's got, beautiful. it's like all like a tealy, turquoisey colour yeah. with dark shadows. And I just felt like it was quite grungy and quite mm -hmm. 90s. Yes, it is very much so. Yeah. So I feel like that's the style that I'm really drawn to at the minute. And I, I like I said, I just could not stop thinking about this print. Yeah. You were really unsure though, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I kept really, saying to really us, unsure. what do you think? And we were like, just it go for it. Because really I've never stunning. bought a fabric like this before, like this mm. sort of design, it's this sort of such a yeah, feel yeah. to it. Well. But I really, gorgeous. really like it. It's just a little bit different. I can totally so see you in it. that's my fabric. And I've got four metres of that because the dresses I've chosen need quite a lot of fabric. Mm -hmm. So that's fabric. Choice number one is something a little bit different for me, again, I've not really made sew over it patterns and I was just really, really drawn to their new release at the start of the year, which is the Pippa dress. So this is it. You can make it as a mini, a midi or a maxi. It's all of them are designed for woven fabrics, obviously. And the size range on this is six to 30 and it comes in two different blocks. So the special feature about this dress, I guess, is the asymmetrical mm. detail here. And those buttons that are on, you can either use large buttons or you could use smaller buttons. You don't even need to use the buttons at all because they're not functional. They're just uh, for decoration. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So it does say on the pattern that you could just catch stitch that down and not actually put the buttons nice. on if you didn't want to. But I just really, sorry, am I putting that in your no, face? <laughs> <laughs> I just got something really really is drawing me to that design it's I really, really like lovely. it you can do different sleeve options so you can do a short sleeve a three-quarter sleeve or you can do this bell sleeve with the elastic mm, at nice. the wrists and it's got bust darts at the front it's got waist darts at the back and then it fastens with an invisible zip at the side ah, so it? yeah nice. so i have seen some lovely versions of this i think the version that i like the most is the one that they did for their so along on their youtube channel i think it was black with a little white polka dot and it was just really really lovely again quite 90s and mm, grungy and yeah. i just imagined it with big boots like dm boots on and you know i really yeah. really liked it nice. so that is option number one lovely then option number two let's go for this one so this is a vicky sews pattern i haven't made a vicky sews pattern but i've actually bought quite a few of them when she's had sales on and i'm really drawn to them because they're very fashion forward and a yeah. little bit different mm -hmm. and yeah very very stylish so this one is 
option number two. It's the Rosalind dress. So you've got a really close fitting sort of style with the um, a waist seam and an underbust seam. You've got the front bodice here, which is all gathered in, and then it's got these crisscross straps that come across and tie around the neck. Really unusual. Yeah, isn't it? it's really, yeah, not really lovely. Like and then you've got um, it's like a midi length, isn't it? And you've got a square yeah. shaped sort of around the bust. You've got long sleeves with elastic, so it's like a billowy sleeve. Oh, it's just beautiful. A lot of billowy sleeves. Yeah, <laughs> but I really like the fitted style of it at the top and at the waist. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't have much of a chest, yeah. but I think that shaping around yeah. the, the bust will yeah. suit my figure. Definitely. It's got a split up the back and it's got a split. Uh, is that what it's called? A slit. <laughs> a slit up the back of the skirt. <laughs> so you can, a split. Yeah, so split you can walk easily and I uh, definitely not. <laughs> And also, what was I going to say? Oh, it's got an invisible zip at the back as well. So I just absolutely love that. This is the paper pattern, which comes in sizes UK 6 to 24, but you can get it as a PDF. And then with the Vicky Sews patterns, the way it works is you choose your particular size and your oh, height yes. range. Mm -hmm. So it does come in a much wider size range as a PDF version. So I absolutely love that. And that is option number two. Gorgeous. And then option number three, I had two choices for option number three, but I've gone for this one and you probably know why. So this is the Fibre Mood Lucille dress and it's got this beautiful waist feature here. So you can tie it at the front and then, so wrap it round at the front and then tie it at the back with a bow. And you've got a bit of midriff on show, which I quite yeah, like. I like anything that accentuates the waist because it is like the smallest part of my body. So this wraps round and you can tie it at the front and have the bow hanging at the front or you can tie it round and then have the bow fastening nice. at the back and have a little bit of midriff on show you can either put elastic in the sleeves or not so you can have that gathered billowy look or you can just have a more floaty drapey look and it looks like it's a midi length again yeah yeah it's got a dolman yeah. sleeve it's got a panelled skirt which flares out and will give lots of beautiful drape and movement uh, and is that showing you kind of all the different ways? Yeah, the different options. So you can either have the fabric tied, like wrapped around and then tied mm. around to the back, or you can have that long bow. So you've got that sort of the ribbons of the front hanging down. So I think I'd probably tie it around to the back. I love the panel skirt. Yeah, yeah it's, it's beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, really, really nice. And you've so, got a big panel at the front. So with your fabric, because yeah. it's busy, it, it wouldn't matter anyway, I suppose, would it? But yeah. yeah, it looks like it, even though it's a flowy skirt, that it's going to be fitted really nice around the waist yes as it's as it skims over your bum yeah <laughs> your bum. Oh, and your then bum. it's got an invisible zip up the back this comes in sizes 4 to 32 which is a really good size range again so yeah they're my three options and i love them all oh, i want to make them all and at this point i'm not entirely sure i do have a slight favorite but i actually love all of those now i've yeah. talked about them I really want to make it's them all. It's going to be so difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we now decision. say which one we all prefer of each other's? <gasps> oh, oh, right. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think for you, I love the fibre mood one. Yeah. Ooh, I think I for one. me, yeah, for you, I so would dramatic. say that would be my first choice. The Vicky Sews is my second and the Pippa is the third. Yeah. Mm. That would be. Like it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Rachel's, I'm going to say the... Named Kurtu is my first choice. Mm. What was the first one that you showed? The Mia dress. Oh god, I the love Mia that. Mia dress. Oh, that's, that's my second name. choice. Yes. That's my and first. And then the Tamsin is my third. And purely, I'm going to say this: I cannot imagine the Tamsin in that fabric. Yeah. But okay. you would absolutely rock it, and I'm yeah. sure. But I just feel like that. Yeah, I can't imagine the two together, and I would actually mm. love to see them yeah. together because I can't picture those that as that. Yeah. yeah. So my favourite would be the knot dress. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. My favourite is the Mason Ooh, dress. Yeah. Without a doubt, I Ooh. think it's amazing. Right, and then so the choices. Ruan, we have the Pleiades, the yeah. Parkway, oh. and the Fibre Mood. Okay. Yeah. I think for me, I really, I really like the Pleiades mm. as my first choice. Yeah. Then I think the Fibre Mood, Holly. And then the parkway. Mm. So, uh, as you were talking about them, I think just because this photo of Nina Lee is so I cute. Know. And that's <laughs> what I mean all the time. That's I'm really why. drawn to this oh. one just because of that. But actually, I think all of the lovely details of that. Mm. Yeah. Ladies. Ladies. <laughs> I think that lengthened 
and that lovely shaping of that waist yeah. seam. I think that one. Interesting. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, don't I know. know. I know. Well, it's going to be interesting when we actually do it then, isn't yeah. it? But yeah, we'll put something on the community mm -hmm. tab and we want you to kind of guess which one you think we're going to make as well. Yeah. And then we'll do a reveal at some point, won't we? Yes. Well, yeah. at, at the, the gathering. gathering. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so from when we're filming this, it's six weeks to the gathering, isn't it? Is so it? we've got right. plenty of time to obviously get our dresses um, <laughs> We will made. not leave it to the last minute. We will no, not no, leave no. it to the last minute. And we minute. will cut some little snippets on Instagram um, how we're getting yeah. along with this, yes. but we're really keen for you guys to join in with us. Like, yeah. Make dresses. Yeah. yeah. We saw so many incredible jackets and people getting out projects that they'd started yeah, and just didn't have ago. the motivation to finish and the community sort of aspect yeah. of the sewing them together just really encourage people and motivated people yeah. to get them finished or to start a new jacket project. We saw lots of amazing ones. So we'd love to have the same amount of involvement yeah. with yeah. this project. Too. And we will be doing a review of our jackets that will be coming up yes. soon as well. So yes. um, hang fire for that one. It's just taken us a little bit longer than we thought, but we will Sorry. be coming up. <laughs> yeah, we're tumbling being poorly. It's just to put things back, but you yeah. know, life happens yeah. and... Absolutely. <laughs> so we will do a reveal at some point, but yes. we'll, we'll get there. We might have done these dresses before that. Yeah, probably. Know, we? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is more important to us? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. We hope you've enjoyed this video and you're excited about our plans. Yeah. yeah. And we'll see you all again. Really soon. Really soon. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>